What's crackalackin' everybody? Welcome back to another This Elite video. So guys, today's video is so wacky, it is so out of the ordinary, that it is from none other than Flipping Japan. So uh, this is actually legit, it's 100% real, it is Pokemon Lego. So uh, recently, Pokemon sold off the branding rights to Nanoblock, which make really tiny Legos, as you can see. That's one Lego, and this is my finger. It is smaller than my flipping finger, like that's absolutely ridiculous. But, uh, but yeah, Nanoblock's recently got the rights to Pokemon, and they're building like different Pokemon figures and all that. This is so awesome in my opinion. I absolutely love Lego, and the fact that I can now build Pokemon in the form with like instructions and all that instead of going freestyle is absolutely amazing. So uh, this is level 2, which is done in Pokeballs, so that's like the skill you need. I'd hate to do a number 5, I probably could never do that. But uh, we've got a bunch of Japanese writing down here. This is Pikachu, which is number 1 in the Lego Pokemon set. You can actually get a few others, which I'll show on screen right about now. If you like this video, I'll probably do some more, so make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below. Which one out of all these would you want to see uh, me build in the next video? Looking around the packet here, it's nothing too special. We've got like a crimson red sort of uh, sticker that goes around here, just the barcode. Oh my gosh, it's the barcode! We've got a nice looking Pikachu, which I think is going to be the outcome of what we're going to build here. We've also got micro-sized building blocks, and we've got Quayadi, which I think is the company that makes it. And uh, on the back here, it's just got choking hazards, so if you're under three years old, you'll die when opening this. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Just a bunch of Japanese writing and nano blocks written everywhere. So uh, I think we should just crack into it. Let's go. Stay in the lab. Stay in the lab. Oh, all right, all right, I'm back, I'm back. All right, guys, I had to uh, quickly go downstairs to get the crimson red scissors to match the crimson red, uh, I don't know what it is, like, sticker thing. So, uh, take a good look at this. If you want to pause the video and take a look at the uh, packet for one last time, there it is, sort of the uh, white and blue dot thing. But I'm keen to get this bad boy open and see what is inside of a nano's block thingy. I don't know, I've never actually looked inside of here before. So I'm guessing it'd be a whole bunch of instructions and baggies. That is actually tiny. Oh my gosh. I'm starting to second uh, guess my decision to build this on camera. It's going to be ridiculous. Look how small this is. I'll try to focus this up, but that is ridiculously tiny. Like my finger is like there and it's bigger than half the packet. This is insane. Look at all those parts there. So I'm guessing they're the main parts of it. This is actually going to be pretty small. So I think we might be able to put it in the background, which would be absolutely awesome. Um, let's take a look at the instructions. Hopefully they're not too bad. It doesn't look too bad. It's only like an A4 sheet. Man, oh, gosh. That's not too intimidating at all. So, uh, it looks pretty straightforward. Like, we enter those ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. If you guys want to copy down, build it for yourself. I don't know if you have the same parts, but we should get that by the end of it. Hopefully it turns out like that. So um, I'm going to actually do a stop motion thing where I'm going to build it on camera. You guys can sort of watch me. I'll play some music. We'll speed it up, get it done in a couple of seconds. Um, wish me luck. Here we go, guys. I'm going to try and build it, and hopefully I'll let you know how long it takes. It, I don't know. I'm a really average LEGO builder, so I'm, I couldn't tell you right off the bat. But here goes nothing. I'll stop rambling. Let's build this bad boy. Ravioli, sing hallelujah with me, guys. Hallelujah. Because it has been, I'm not kidding you right now, like two to three hours. That took me so long to complete. I think it's just because I'm not used to using such small, like, Lego bricks, even though these aren't Lego, these, like, nano blocks. They are ridiculously small, and you don't really get a hold of it until, um, you start, like, building. I was about halfway until I started speeding up the process. But, oh my gosh, and it doesn't help. The instructions are worse than Ikea. Like, those things are ridiculous. They, they cram so much that you need to do in, like, one block. There's eight different, sort of, sections in the instruction booklet, right? And they cram, like, 600 different steps into the one thing. At least Ikea draws a stick figure on the front of there. But you know what? It's all good. Um, it turned out incredible. The attention to detail on this figurine is insane in the membrane. Um, I'll do some close-up shots for you now. But we got, like, the stripes on the back of it, which it just looks incredible. Um, I think that is so realistic. Like, that's exactly what the stripes look like. We got the black and white eyes. We got the red cheeks. And it looks fantastic. The red cheeks stand out so well. The brown nose and the black ears. They're a bit wonky just because they're holding on to uh, like one or more bricks so uh, they're a bit skew if left to right the tail is coming out to like a left or a right bend which looks incredible the fact that like got the bends going in there and sort of a, not a hundred percent either way I think it just makes it even more realistic like blowing in the wind or something and uh, they've made it stand up really well but I don't know if you can see or not but there's a see-through one here which uh, balances it up so he stands like that and it's a-okay so uh, I think I'm definitely gonna put him in the background and by the way I finished building the whole thing I'm like yes praise the Lord we finished it but then I'm like what 
Are you serious? We have all these leftover bits. Like, how many is here? I'd say about 10 different pieces. So uh, I'm guessing they're like bonus bits. If you guys lose something, you'd be able to um, find it again. Use the uh, spare bit here. I think that's actually a really smart idea because every time I build Lego, I swear, I'm always one brick short. That one brick goes missing. I will move out of this house and like the guy that moves in will magically find a secret area of all these Lego bricks I've been missing over the years. Um, it always happens to me. But nevertheless, I don't think you'll ever be able to find this because it's so tiny. Like, this is my hand. Now, my hands aren't too big, but like, oh, actually, I'll show you a figurine. That's probably a better comparison. So, uh, we've got a semi, like, usual figurine. You find these in a box. Compare that to the micro brick right there. Look at that, that is absolutely tiny. It is nearly just as small as that uh, figurine there. That is ridiculous. Gyarados, my man, you are a shorty pants. Uh, but yeah, it's actually a really, really tiny figurine. You don't really get a depth of it until you start building it, and you're like, damn, this is actually going to be really small. But hey, as it says in the packet, the smaller it is, the more attention to detail it allows it to be, and uh, it turned out incredible. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below. What do you think of it? Do you like it? Do you, are you a fan of nanoblocks? Um, and if you are, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below. What Pokemon? You'd like me to do another video on if you like this video? Um, I'm really keen to see what you guys think. I reckon Charizard look pretty, but I don't know. Whatever. They all look insane. So uh, yeah, really keen to know. What do you guys think? Leave a comment in the comment section below. But yeah, I think that just about wraps up this uh, bit of an alternate video. It wasn't what I usually do, but hey, I'm always down to do something different. So guys, most for this, guys, what do you do? You turn me up, though, you? Pikachu! No, no, dude, stop saying your own catchphrase, right? It's my catchphrase time. Keep on gaming. See you then, guys.